I have seriously never played this game. Just let that sink in for a moment. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and this is Let's Blind Play Chrono Trigger. Now, I've been told that because I've never played this game, I should have my gaming license revoked, or I'm not a real gamer because I've never played this game, and I've been given really weird looks. This game was released by Squaresoft before it became Square Enix back in 1995, and it's been acclaimed as one of the best games for the Super Nintendo. It's also been held in the highest esteem as one of the best, if not the best, role-playing game ever produced. I like how there's actually a bit of an intro, or, you know, kind of... I, yeah, I guess it would be an intro of sorts. I can kind of see what I'm getting into here. Uh, we get team attacks and... Maybe? Okay, so... Hmm. But the basic quick story is the fact that my parents bought my video games for me as a child. So, I didn't think anything of this title when it first came out. I didn't know anything about it, and I was just like, oh, it's just another RPG. It's not like Final Fantasy or something. So, of course, you know, I kind of didn't think much about it. Now, that doesn't excuse the lack of emulation. It was on my list of games to do for the longest time. And it can't even get comfortable in my damn chair. But it just kept getting put on the, the back burner. Well, I started doing Let's Play videos. I believe it was three years ago. Obviously, my first one was Tetris and my second was Doom. Of course, Tetris, I don't know if you can really count it or not. I don't, but... Anyway, so my first game was, like, Doom. And as I started doing these, and I played... It was around the time I did The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. And I thought, you know... I should do Chrono Trigger for my channel. And I'll do it completely blind. I don't know how many can actually... How many people can actually say that they've never played Chrono Trigger and can play the entire game blind, you know, for the people, you know, just for people to watch. So, I have no idea about anything in this game other than I know who a couple of the characters are. I know who Magus is. I know who I know who the final boss is. I won't spoil that if you're watching this blind. Uh, you know, like if you're watching this blind as I play it. So, um, I'm glad there's an intro. It gives me time to talk a little bit and do an introduction. Yeah, I <laughs> let's get this started, shall we? But yeah, I just kept putting it on the back burner and ooh. Let's do active. Let, let's make this. Let's make this interesting here. I'm gonna leave it as Chrono. I'm gonna leave every everybody's name alone for the purpose of this this let's play, so I can get familiar with names and stuff. So. Okay. Gunshots. No, it's a party. Some sort of festival? So what's what's going on here? Chrono. Chrono! Good morning, Chrono. Who is that? <laughs> Come on, sleepyhead, get up! Ah, Lean's bell makes such beautiful noise. You were so excited about the Millennial Fair that you didn't sleep well, did you? I want you to behave yourself today. Oh, Mom. By the way, today's beverage is Cherry Coke. So I bought it at Walmart. I went shopping for some food and some paper plates.
So yeah, I have been wanting to do this game for quite some time for my channel. So this is something I'm really excited about. Anyway, let's get moving now. I like the cat just sitting there. Now, I know some of the artwork was done by Akira Toriyama, which I know he did the character design and stuff, so... Okay, so that's run. Okay, so, uh... That doesn't seem to do anything yet. And that, and... Okay, well, that brings up the menu. So let's get familiar with this, because I'm probably going to go th be using this quite a bit. That's, uh, probably techniques. Options, maybe? No. Exchange, I'm sure I'll figure that out later. Um, that's save. Hang on, let's go ahead and save it. Oh, I can't save yet. Okay. Uh, that's my inventory, and of course, character screen, so... Uh, there's only Chrono, so... Okay, well, that... Fairly, fairly simple so far. Select and... Start? <laughs> it's a legit pause. It's not the menu button. Or another menu button. Um... I bet... That's my item, like, open chests button or something. Finally! By the way, that inventor friend of yours... Uh, you know. Oh dear, I've forgotten her name. Okay, so Luca. Reminds me of Bulma. <laughs> oh, Akira Toriyama, you. That's right, Luca. Don't forget that she invited you to see her new invention. Run along now and be back before dinner. Okay. Uh, kitty? Oh, cute. Okay, so circle is my check button. Or not circle. Uh, A. I'm looking at this from a PlayStation controller. Give me a break here, people. Yes, I'm playing this on an emulator. Because I don't have a way to play this from a Super Nintendo. Alright, so. Overworld. Yay. Um, truce in. Market. Residence. So what's this? Is this like a church? Luca's house. Said you wanted to go see her inventions, so... Huh. <laughs> if you try to walk into something, it just kind of shakes his head. It's like, nope. Alright, well, let's go in. Uh, let's go upstairs. Oh. Oh, hi, Chrono. Luga's off at Lean Square with her father, Tabin, unveiling her new invention. Alright. Uh, what's in here? So, Lean isn't here. Is there a way up there? Yes, there is. Ha ha. Of course, there's nothing up here, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I felt clever, and then I was at a dead end. I don't feel so clever. Of course, this is over here. Wait, was that... Oh, I thought there was like a door or something over here. Like a... Kind of stuck off or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Um. Yeah, finally playing this game. I am horribly excited. And I mean horribly in like the good form of the word horribly. Okay. Mayor's Manor. Well, let's at least check out a couple of places before. Do you know about our establishment? No. This is Mayor's Education Center. Think of it as a workshop for beginners. You can take the things you find here. Well, that's glorious. I think I will. 
Why are you shi- <laughs> Okay. Why are you shiny? Scattered throughout this world are places where you can save your game. Save whenever you can, especially in unfamiliar or dangerous areas. You know, give me a second. I didn't even bother to check how long I'd been, like, when I started this. Give me a second. Okie doke. I'm, I'm only ten minutes in the recording, so I'm good. Do you know about shelters? They're quite useful. I'm going to assume it's like an inn, but uh, just to be on the safe side. At sh uh, let's see, use shelters at save points or on the world map to completely restore HP and MP. Oh, it's like tents. Okay, cool. I should have thought about that. Walk while reading messages, but go too far and you can miss them. Oh, neat! Okay, that should be like every RPG. Use the Y button to move the message battle window up or... Huh, cool. Okay. Alright, I'll teach you about skills. Are you willing to learn? Yes. So I guess this first episode will just be like a tutorial of sorts, so... See, during combat, the effect of each attack can vary. First, some of your attacks will damage more than one enemy. For example, target this critter. And your attack will hit another monster in the area. Okay, so... We have area of effect attacks. But if you target this one, just in range, you can get all three at once. Use this fact to your advantage. Next, you can hit enemies in your direct line of sight. There are two attack patterns. The first one... Oh, okay, yeah. Line, the direct straight line. Okay, duh. Allows you uh, allows you to attack all the enemies oriented on a straight line from you. You may place the cursor on any one of them on the line. The other pattern allows you to hit only the enemies in a straight line between you and the target. As in the previous example, all three creatures are targeted here, but... Ah, so I'll have to be careful. Select this one and that's all you'll get. I like this battle system already. And I've not even done one yet. Next, use an enemy to establish a line and any others on it will also be hit. They're lined up horizontally here. So you may target any of them. The final, path, the final pattern puts you at the center of the attack zone. You can't use an attack like this if your enemies are outside of the zone. However, your attack will hit all enemies inside the active zone. Okay. So, the s character sprites will be moving around on the battlefield as the battles progress. So, uh, kind of like... Uh, s oh, God, what game was it? Kind of like Star Ocean 2, in a way. And another game that comes to mind is L Lunar. Okay, so I'm a little bit familiar with that. That's about it. Feel more confident? Yes, actually. Uh, I don't even know what you're going to say, so yes. You've got potential. You'll learn, a, you'll learn a number of techniques as you progress. Techniques are magic attacks that also utilize your weapons. You'll acquire them with discipline. With great discipline! Hold down the L and R buttons to escape from battle. Uh, no one to run, but you need to fight to grow strong. Now, about the equip menu. Numbers next to the sword and shield icons indicate attack power. Yeah. Higher number, the greater the power. M defense is, uh, block magic attacks. It's ten. Okay. Star after any characteristic means it's at maximum strength. Okay. Damage in battle. Yes. Some monsters have special attacks. I thought I could move while talking to people. Not these people. HP. Oh, these are going over the status effects. Okay, so poison's at standard fare in RPGs, so that that's pretty typical. HP damage every turn or a, a gradual decrease. Oh, attacks are weak in those, so. Slow. Increases the time between attacks. Sleep is uh, typical as well. Uh, 
it's kind of like stun, I guess, in the original Final Fantasy, except uh, you get woken up when you get hit. Uh, chaos, huh? Oh, it's basically confusion. A little tough on friendships. Uh, blind. Yeah, that's pretty standard fare. Okay, lock. I can't use any techniques. Stop. Immobilizes and disables you. That's pretty standard fare. Okay, so statuses are pretty standard fare. Sustain more damage. Use heal or wait until the battle ends to heal automatically. Ah, uh, sure. You survive to restore yourself, but if everyone goes down, you're through. I'm gonna kick my feet up on the bed here. Be careful. Alright, let's see. We'll go back downstairs, and I don't think it talked to... Why is it still sparkly? Oh! He moved to show it off. That's just a replica. Record your journey whenever you find the real McCoy. You'll find more of them in riskier areas. I like how they used the real McCoy. Also, remember that you can log in anywhere on the world map. You know, I feel like a total putz. I didn't even look when I started recording again. One sec. Okay, so, yeah, I know when to stop recording now. I feel like a total putz. Need a brief weapons and items seminar. Why not? I've already read everything else. Weapons include swords, bows, and guns. Some weapons can only be used by specific party members. You'll find a variety of armor for the head and body. Finally, there are numerous accessories with unique properties and effects. As you gain power, swords will inflict greater damage. Bows and guns get more graceful as your hit rate increases. Yeah, more powerful as your hit rate increases. Yes. I didn't find anything, but I'm kind of glad I went there. Ticket office. What's in here? Here's in the ocean near here. What could cause that? If only Fritz would return, I'd ask for nothing more. Uh, no. I don't want to go to Pora yet. So what is residence? Obviously, I know what a residence is. I mean, what is in the residence? That brat Lucas says she's made the discovery of a lifetime. I'm so happy I could scream. Well, then you do that. You let that scream out, and don't hold any of it back. Because no one wants to hear that. A thousand AD, huh? Uh, what's he doing? <laughs> Cute. I guess I probably don't need to be out there yet, because I'm not progressing the story any, I guess. Hard to believe Guardia is now a thousand years old, and our king is the 33rd descendant to the throne. But how can he rule a kingdom when he can't even control his own daughter? That's a perfectly honest question, you know. I mean... Alright, let's go to Lean Square already. Stop procrastinating the story here. What in the... Still run or might try something. This is the renowned Tent of Horrors. Spend your zero silver points here. Parental discretion advised. Okay, why not? Welcome to Norstein Beckler's lab. The spine-tingling show is about to start. You are ahead with hands. I don't have any silver points. I guess I do have to have silver points. Yeah, what are you doing? I want to talk to you. Welcome to the Millennial Fair. Have fun. Okay, will do. Good way to start at RPGs at a fair. Those runners are being are busy racing, so they won't talk to you. Well, I just found that out. Thanks, little girl. You're so helpful. 
Press the A button while facing the bell. Judge your distance carefully and press the A button again. Ah! One silver point. I earned a silver point. Wait, card? Oh, neat. I really like that one. And that one, too. I guess I'm just a plain person. I like all the plain ones. But, I'm gonna leave it at one. Battle gauge? We'll leave that alone. Save battle cur Oh, that's, uh... Okay. Yeah, that is the options menu, then. Wait, does... Does it have silver points on his... Yeah, no. wonder what that word lightning means uh, next to his name. Can you see? Like the war against mages 400 years ago. Okay! Thank goodness things are so peaceful now. Uh, maybe I don't know who Magus is. I mean, I've seen, like, him, but... Huh. Well... We'll start out with ten, and I guess I'll... Probably won't need many heals at first, so I'll just buy three. Okay, so there's the item vendor. Her Luga and her dad have made another crazy invention. Hope it doesn't blow up like all the others. See, people who, who hear Elaine's bell ring will have interesting and happy lives. What do you have to buy? A bronze helmet. Hmm. I'm gonna wait in case when I get Luca on my party, she'll probably want equipment. Be quiet and watch. Our guy pays big bucks for charms, weapons, pendants, and other rarities. Buy something for Melchior, the swordsmith? Sure. Load sword? That's a <laughs> pretty... Pretty big improvement for a weapon this early in the game, but that's... Uh, why, hello there, Silver Sword. I live on the continent of the east. Come see me sometime. No, I will not flirt with you. I don't want to just come see you sometime. What's the big deal? So what if we won a war against a wizard hundreds of years ago? Excuse me. Whoa! Hey! Ouch, that hurt! I'm so sorry, are you okay? Uh-oh, my pendant! Oh, I can move. Oh, thank goodness, my pendant. It has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? Yeah, absolutely. I came to see the festival. You live in this town, don't you? I feel a little out of place here. Would you mind if I walked around with you for a while? Sure. You're a true gentleman. Well, I mean, okay. <laughs> I mean, if, if this were like a real-life situation, I, I would be like, totally cool with that because I'm like kind of a nice guy so my name is uh, Marl um, Marl and you're Chrono what a nice name pleased to meet you now lead on huh cool 
You have one silver points. Want to exchange for 50 gold? No. No time to talk. I'm just sitting down for my lunch. Keep going if you want to demo Luca's robot battle trainer. Collect silver points if you win. Um. The cat is following me. Come on, kitty. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, look at you. Yes, I have a weak spot for cats. I hate fairs. Say, do you know the latest gossip? No. Just between us, I heard that the king is distressed over his tomboy of a daughter. What's wrong with a tomboy? Just once, I would like to see how wild she really is. <laughs> you might want to rephrase that. I'm sure she could show you a good time. <laughs> They're still setting up. Why don't you come back in a while? Let's go see what this thing is that was over here. What was over here? Oh, I didn't even go this way yet. It's a soda guzzling contest. Press the A button as fast as you can. Set, go. Can I do it faster? Ah, I almost got eight. Oh well. Uh, where's my cat? Oh, I can bring you your cat. Where is the cat? Come here. Come here. Is this your cat? Yay! You're so sweet, Chrono. Okay, so is she like the... The, uh, love affair that we get in this game, or... I know this from somewhere else. I don't know if any of you people have ever been to... YTMND.com, but this was associated with the, uh, Brian Peppers joke. Catchy rhythm. Use the X, Y, L, and R buttons to dance. Okay. Get. I want to talk to the other person. Got some spending money from the elder. Prehistoric dance. How enchanting. Okay. Um, I don't get anything for dancing, do I? Hmm. Oh well. And it's getting close, so I'll go over this way. And... We'll find out what, I guess, is over this way. They call me Gato. I have metal po metal joints. Beat me up and earn 15 silver points. Uh, I guess I'll do this and then... Um, okay, attack. Oh, okay, I get it now. That was kind of difficult to learn on the fly. Wow, it's hitting Chrono pretty hard. Oh, I beat him. That wasn't hard. Checkpoint, huh? 
I lost, you won, here's 15 points now, wasn't that fun? A robot that speaks in rhyme. Fantastic. Alright, uh, I'm going to end this episode here. So I'll pick up in the next episode, which I'm going to record right after this one. So I'm Ultimate Mantoid, and this is Let's Blind Play Chrono Trigger. Till next time, take care and have fun.